Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add these social media share buttons to your blogger website. In the previous videos, we have been designing this using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And this is how it looks. So we can click on any of these uh, buttons and uh, the current page will be shared to that social media. So for example, if I click on WhatsApp, here we can see that we have the title of the page and the link displayed over here. And we can go ahead and click on continue to chat and share it on WhatsApp. In the same way, we have Twitter, Facebook and Telegram. And then we also have this share button. So if I click on the share button, we have the link of the current page copied. And then we can go ahead and paste it anywhere we want. And this is also responsive. So if I decrease the width of the browser window, this is how it will look on smaller screens. So in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. So let's get started. Right here, I have logged into my blogger dashboard and the theme that I'm using is called Contempo Lite, which comes by default with blogger. Now let's open this uh, website and this is how it looks right now. So let's go ahead and add this design to our blogger website. Now for that, you have to edit the theme code. So let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And before making any changes to your theme code, it is a good idea to copy everything from here and paste it somewhere so that you have a backup. Right now, let's go ahead and add our code over here. So the first thing we will do is add the CSS. So I'll just go to the end of the theme CSS code. And uh, this is where the CSS of the theme ends. So I'll just make some space and let's create a comment over here. And let's type social share buttons. And uh, let's go ahead and add the CSS of our design over here. So let's go back to our source code and uh, I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's go to the style.css file and let's copy all this CSS from here and let's paste it over here. And now let's go ahead and copy and paste the HTML. So let's go inside the body tag. So this is the body tag. So here I'll just add the HTML. Now since this uh, design is fixed to a specific position, you can add the code anywhere inside the body. So I'll just add it over here. So let's go back and let's go to the HTML file. Let's copy this HTML code from here and let's paste it over here. Now the last thing we need to copy is the JavaScript. So let's scroll down and let's go to the end of the body tag. And here I'll just create a script tag. And in the script tag, we will add the JavaScript. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file let's copy all this JavaScript from here and let's paste it over here. And here we can see we have some errors. So that's because we have ampersand symbol over here. Now, since this is an XML code for the blogger theme, we need to change ampersand into AMP semicolon. So here we need to change this to ampersand AMP semicolon. And now the last thing we need to do is we need to change the links of the images. So let me just go to the start of the body tag and here we have our social share container and in that we have these anchor tags with the images inside them now in the images we have the src attribute and we have the link of the image but this link is basically the link of our local project so we have this images folder and in that we have these images but in our blogger website we don't have the images folder and we also don't have this image so we need to upload these images somewhere and get the link and paste it over here so I'll just upload it inside the blogger page itself. So I'll just go to the blogger dashboard and uh, let's go over here to pages and you can create a new page called images. I already have a page. So I'll just open this and I'll just delete the current image that we have over here. And uh, let's go ahead and click on this uh, insert image button and let's click on upload from computer and let's click on choose files. And here we have these uh, images. So let's select all of these images and let's click on open. And we can see all these images are being uploaded. So let's select all of these and let's click on select. And let's select original size and let's click on OK. And here we have all these images uploaded. So let's go to the compose view. And here we can see all these images are being displayed. So now we can just go ahead and right click over here and click on copy image address. 
and let's go back and uh, let's paste it over here so we have facebook so instead of this src i'll just paste the link of facebook and the same way let's go ahead and copy the other image so here we have the share image so let's right click and copy image address and let's paste it over here for the share icon and then we have telegram so let's right click and go to copy image address and here for telegram let's paste the link and then we have twitter so let's right click and go to copy image address and let's paste the image over here and then lastly we have whatsapp so let's right click and click on copy image address and let's paste the link over here and uh, now let's go ahead and click on save and i'll just go back over here so now this uh, update was successful so let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now we can see that the social media share buttons are not being displayed but if you scroll down here it is displayed so we need to add a z index to this uh, container so that it is above all the other elements so let's go back and let's go to the css and uh, here for the social share container division let's add a z index and uh, let's set the z index to a higher value let's try 600 and let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now we can see that the social media share buttons are displayed over here and let's click on one of these let's click on telegram and here we can see that the current link was copied and we have the title and we have the share button so let's go to one of these posts and now let's see whether this link is being displayed so let's click on telegram and here we can see we have the title and we also have the link of the page displayed over here so it is working all right now let's click on this uh, share button so let's click on share and the toast is not being displayed so that's because uh, we need to add a z index to the toast as well so let's go back and uh, here for the toast let's add a z index so here i'll just type z index and let's set it to 600 as well and let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now let's click on this share button and we have the toast displayed over here and it goes back after three seconds let's see whether it was copied so let's paste it over here and we can see that the link was copied so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add the social media share buttons to your blogger website so that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day